<laughs> yeah, man. Uh, you wonder what's happening. I was in between making the announcements and coming back to live, and um, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> you would have seen a picture like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh silly me anyway um, we're going to be doing uh, a series here of 18 studies on law versus grace here on a messianic viewpoint now understand this all right this is just as much controversial in a messianic world as it is a Christian world really uh, the law versus great debate fires pretty heavy on the doctrines that are going around in each of course camp likes to pitch that they got the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth I think we're going to do a little bit one up here because we're not going to take the stand that we got the truth the whole truth nothing to the truth however what we will do for you it's give you a lot of the scriptures, all right, as well as the, the textural um, ramifications in behind it, so you can make a decision for yourself. How about that? Hmm? That's our commitment to you. Uh, most people um, out there in the world probably aren't aware that there is about 18 wildly, wi um, wildly, yeah, widely held. Uh, modernistic theologies that are almost opposite of what has really been taught by the first century church this is not usually surprising to some people because half the stuff really uh, already is anyway in 90 percent uh, in the past due to the fact that the Hebrew and Aramaic languages contain many words that have several meanings for example the word ruach does it mean spirit, wind, or breath? Um, or in Aramaic, does the word mitha, does that mean uh, word, instant, emanation, substance, occurrence, or manifestation? Uh, perhaps when John wrote, uh, or Yonachan, in the beginning was mitha, he meant all these definitions when looked at the word. And yet the Greek person that, that, that translated into Greek could only pick one phrase that reflected one meaning out of a possibility of six different interpretations of the word. So it, 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 we have several circumstances this being done in the Bible. Uh, not only did they make that mistake when they took it into the Greek, from the Alexandrians but they also continued to do that into several of the other languages whether it was translated in German or English or French or Latin or whatever language it is as people sought to have the Word of God in their own language um, in the beginning was myth uh, is meant by all these definitions and yet the Greek uh, Oh, sorry, I'm repeating myself here. Understanding the language is sure and his disciples is certainly not, not difficult. But the problem will remain that the original Hebrew teachings aren't very accessible to a majority of Christians. Any doctrine that makes void the teachings of Yeshua and Torah has been very, um, has very broad implications to it. And so we'll begin with the greatest opposites of them all and work through how's that father we thank you for this new series which we're going to call in opposition of and we ask your spirit your Ruach HaKodesh to be with the people and breathe in them open their minds and their hearts into the concept and the study let them see the words of the scriptural texts. In Yeshua's name we pray. Amen. <laughs>